Hello, this is Master Mario 548. It always amazes me how all of the aggressives out there are always claiming they are the most open minded, tolerant, goodwill people. They are just going and trying to stop all that bullying from happening. They're they're trying to stop all the bad people out there who are trying to go and make the world a worse place. They just want to have world peace and everyone to be happy. Bull crap. All the aggressors out there are just, they have no idea half the time what they're talking about. They, they are just so completely brainwashed that for some of them, it's probably impossible to convince them otherwise. They are just, uh, they are just, it, it amazes me how, how the way they think. So, I went and got some screenshots of some of these people and I'm going to go and show just how tolerant and nice they really, really are. So, let's go ahead and look at a few and see what, what these people really think of what they really think of everyone. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have one from Aunt e. Sin. I suppose this is her name. I, pff, it's stupid. I'm not even going to try to even take my time to pronounce it. Okay, so refuse to call Caitlyn by her name, Drake Bell. Okay, Drake, your name is now Donna. Enjoy being called what you don't enter into identify as Donna and look it has a ton of t retweets and a bunch of stars so I guess a lot of people like this person's idea for for bullying I hate it when people use this kind of logic just to go and prove their point if someone did this to me I'd I'd probably just laugh I'd be like really <laughs> you're using that as an insult doesn't bother me because, cause, I mean, I think, I might be wrong about this, but I think I remember Caitlyn saying she didn't really care. So if she didn't, I don't see what the problem would really be with this. And it's also kind of funny that these are the same people who pretty much went and, you know, just betrayed Caitlyn when she said she was a, a Republican. So it, it kind of makes you think about that, doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure this person, whatever their gender is, has a different point of view. But let's go on moving to the next person. So we have one from Mads. Drake Bell got more attention from that tweet than he did from his entire acting career. I wouldn't say that. I mean, yeah, he got attention from it, but he probably got, also got a lot of attention when he was on Drake and Josh. So, I had to uh, disagree with that one, Mads. I mean, a lot of people get a lot of bad attention when, when they ever they say something stupid, but uh, I say this wasn't as big as when he was a uh, star in Nickelodeon. But, yeah, I had to disagree with you on that. Okay, so we have from, from Rest in Peace, Corey. I don't know who Corey is, but... Luckily, he if he's gone, he doesn't have to deal with this stupid moron anymore. So, that that's a plus of Corey. If you're really gone, at least at least you don't have to deal with her. But let's see what she said. Oh, it's a little song. Row, row, row your boat gently off a cliff. I hope you break your neck, your neck and die. You won't be missed. Ah, that's just that's the most touching thing I've ever seen. It's just, she's hoping that he dies. Isn't that always funny? Just wishing death upon people. Don't you love it when people do that? They they want someone to actually die. I mean, I want people to die all the time. And who cares if they're gone? Who cares if their families are miserable from that? I mean, I, I surely don't care. Posts like this are just... So freaking hypocritical. She, I mean, she got mad at him just going and doing a little joke, and she wants him to get killed for it. This is just, 
She is the worst cyber bully in this little part. She, she may not realize it, she may disagree completely, but she is the worst cyber bully there. She, when, when someone just goes and does a little name, and then when another person wants you to die for it, you are the worst person. And sadly, it seems by about 500 or so people are just the same. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we're actively trying to be gender neutral wise with our kids. One of each. And it's such a losing battle. Sadness. So they're trying to go and make give their kids a bunch of gender neutral stuff and have them be gender neutral people, but I guess both of their boy and girl are preferring their own gender stuff. Their daughter is preferring their the girly stuff and their son is preferring the boyish stuff. Kind of kinda of really not surprising, but let's see how the rest of the conversation goes. Yeah, I can already see my daughter preferring pink. And I have no idea why, because we work so hard to avoid that. I mean, it's not like girls are born with more estrogen in them, and estrogen usually prefers girlless stuff, so... <laughs> oh wow, it's, it's astonishing to me, don't ask me. But look, let's go and see what this other person has to say. Pink and Disney princesses, we tried to discourage them, but our daughter has graduated towards them both. Oh, we're trying to discourage your stuff from the things they like. Oh, isn't that good parenting? The, trying to go and force your kids into something they they aren't really. Kind of like how the, these people are always going insane about conservative parents about doing the exact same thing. But I guess there's really no hypocritical point here. This time, it's okay. Yeah, these people really don't know, understand how just the human mind works. Girls usually prefer girlish things. That's how their minds work. Boys usually prefer boyish things. That's how their minds work. It is really rare for them to go and prefer the opposite things completely. It is really rare. And trying to go and force your kids to be gender neutral, don't do that. Just let them be, just l let them grow up into the gender they are and then if they want to be the other gender as they grow up, I suppose let them. But if, they're, if they were born with a penis the, and if the, the doctor identifies them as a boy, then until they have their own decision, they're a boy. Don't try to go and change that. And I hate it when people just go and try to go and switch that kind of stuff. Next one. Reasons I want all men to suffocate in their sleep? <sighs> okay, let's, let's see what she has to say. They deserve it for always being so hateful towards women and just being disgusting pigs in general. <laughs> or at the first one. The first one, and it's already completely hypocritical. And she has nine more ways on why she freaking hates a gender. And she's saying that men are the hateful ones. It's just going to get worse from here, isn't it? <laughs> Number two says, it will ri rid women of all their problems and fears in life. Y you are so right there. I I'm sure many women out there would be so happy to go and see their sons die. I am so happy there would be women out there who would be so happy to see their husbands die, their brothers, their uncles, and pff, you really think they want to see that? I mean, do, do you really think they want to see their kids die? That's going to rid them of fear. No, you know, they're not going to be depressed. They're not going to think about taking their own life after that. No, they're going to be thrilled about it. You are a moron. It would be funny as hell because dying is funny. I love seeing people get killed. I'm, 
I remember when those people jumped from the World Training Center. I was laughing my ass off. It, it was hilarious. Suffocation would be 100% appropriate cause of death for men because it would finally show them how it feels to be impressed and not being able to do anything about it. What does I have to do with anything? I mean, if, if, I mean, what if you woke up? And what if someone was able to help them? Then, then they could get help from it, right? Women would be truly free. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the women who chose to go out there and get married are, are being forced into it. They, they, they didn't do it out of free will. They, they were forced into that marriage. No one who had to deal with hate online. Exactly. I mean, there's no way that this little post is hateful. No, no, no. No more war. Eh, I, you know, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, there might be less war, but there would still be war. I mean, it wouldn't be 100% avoidable. So, you're kind of wrong there. No more oppressive religions. Who's to say that? There are crazy women out there who could go and make some crazy religion. Do you really think that's going to be guaranteed not to happen? No more sexism in the media or anywhere at all. Well, that's true. I mean, there would be no more women online going and making sexist comments about men. So, I guess that's sort of true. It would be fun to watch them all helplessly struggle for air and their sleep. Once again, death funny. This post is just <laughs> completely ridiculous. I'm not sure if it's real or not. I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking it might be a troll post, but if it's not, it's just sad to see something like that. And it, it's sad to see that there's someone out there who wants so many people out there to die. Hopefully this person will one day get help, but she'll probably refuse it if it's from a man, so there's no, going to be no point there. Okay, so let's go and move on to another one and see what it's like. Okay, this was on a review from the new movie, Birth of a Nation. Let's see what Kelly has to say. I love how the right-wing bigots are blaming racism on movies and the Black Rights Matter movement. You're idiots. We should never stop talking about slavery or the Holocaust or black people being gunned down by bigoted cops. These movies need to be made. History needs to be remembered. I'm sorry you white supremacist douches can't handle being s seeing slavery on the big screen. We all know if Republicans would bring back slavery back, they could. What a bunch of ignorant hillbilly Trump supporters trying to be review a movie that ha they haven't even seen yet. Choke on it, neo-conservative douchebags. Wow. <laughs> this has to be the biggest bigot I have seen so far. This person is beyond stupid. This person was probably just, I don't know what happened to them. They, they, they are terrible. Okay, for one, they were going around and saying that history needs to be remembered, slavery needs to be remembered, and all that. And that's true. But what she's failing to realize is, is that it's all the young liberals out there who are trying to go and get rid of, of history. They, they, they find it offensive. They don't like it. The young liberals out there are the ones trying to go and get rid of it. And she's trying to go and claim it's the other way around. Bull crap. You are completely retarded if you actually believe that. I mean, there's enough evidence out there to go and prove it's all the progressives out there who are trying to go and just pr pretty much go and try to get rid of history as the way it really is. And you are going to try to go to really the other way? Lady, you need to read a real history book. Then maybe you'll see the truth. Then she's going around saying that people want slavery back. Okay, ask yourself this. 
Do you really want to believe that there's a group of people out there who want slavery back? Do you really want to believe there's people horrible enough that they want to be have people put back in chains, be whipped, and be tortured to go and work for free? Do you really want to believe that? Or would you rather believe that people have moved on from it and most people agree that slavery is a thing that was terrible and we're happy that we moved on from? Which would you rather believe? Because if you really believe the first one, you are a horrible person. You want to live in a world where there's really terrible people out there who want to live in a really bad past and not live in a future where people can be happier. Really ask yourself that. And then she goes and stereotypes them and saying they're a bunch of hillbilly Trump supporters because just because they're, they hate this movie, that means they're a Trump supporter. Well, I don't support Trump and this movie looks pretty stupid to me. Trump's an idiot. I don't like him. So what's that make me? Choke on a neoconservative douchebag. So right back at you, bitch. It's people like this that just <laughs> completely amaze me and... I really hope her review gets taken down because she is the one going and trying to cause fights out there because people have a different opinion. <laughs> Idiot. Alright, this one became really popular because of just the amount of stupidity it was. Now the the Twitter has since been taken down because I guess I guess it's, she just couldn't take the hate that she deserved from it just from the utter stupidity it had but let's go ahead and read it. The death toll in Haiti from Hurricane Matthew is 339. That's what environmental racism looks like. Black Lives Matter. So, I, I didn't really understand what she was saying. The, the biggest thing I could think of was is that, is that she's saying that most companies and businesses are owned by white men and they're polluting the world and because they're polluting the world and causing global warming they're causing all the hurricanes and all the deaths of the people in Haiti and all the other black people. That's what I think she's saying. So, it's, wow. People have just made fun of her this to an oblivion. There were people in the Black Rights Matter movement making fun of her. That's how bad it is. There were people on, on the left who were making fun of her for this. She well deserved this, and even her bio says, I write in about environmental racism. <laughs> I mean, okay, what if someone went to an interview, you, you were interviewing them, and you said what their other jobs were, and they said, oh, I, I wrote about environmental racism. What would your reaction be? Would you, would you just, would you laugh? Would you look at them with just the oddest face? Would you just, would your brain just pretty much blow up because you couldn't really understand if you really heard that or not? You, you thought maybe just, you really went insane there for a minute and she was, she didn't really say that and you're the one who's going crazy. What would your reaction be? Because I wouldn't be able to just to go and, comprehend that. M my brain would just be having so many thoughts and I would just be looking at her with a str terrible face drooling going like the what? <laughs> Luckily she she got so much hate for this that she, she took it down. I mean, I mean I don't think she should have gone and get rid of her Twitter if she really believes what she's saying. She shouldn't have gotten rid of her Twitter. She should stand up for herself, but sadly, she didn't. So, I don't know what has happened to her since. I'm not sure if she went and made another one or another Twitter or just pretty much gone from the internet completely. If 
It would probably be smart for her to stay away from the internet for a few months. And then, if she does return, she should make a completely new identity. Don't go writing, writing about environmental racism. And if you're going to get a different job, don't say you used to write about environmental racism. Because chances are, the person is just going to look at you crazy, or you're going to turn them crazy. One of those. So, it, it's probably best that you stay away and don't do anything. <laughs> okay, so, what does everyone say? Yeah. Props to blank for not taking shots at the conservative Christian family. That's a surprisingly said, r rarely among internet celebrities. What? <laughs> I don't even understand what this person's even saying. Just, what? I mean, Christians in, in Hollywood are always criticized, so do you think they should be criticized more? Uh, I don't understand this one. I mean, tch. I actually went and, and saved this one a few months ago, I, and I don't even remember what it was about, so... <laughs> let's just go ahead and move on from this one. Okay, so let's see what this one says. You right-wing nutjobs are projecting all over the place. All I have to read is libtard, and I automatically know you are attempting to insult on grounds that only apply to you. We Democrat progressives do not, as Piss299 pointed out, worship any one or thing. Particularly, uh, particularly since worshiping is an emotional state, state, and we ch ch tend to be find clear, heated fact. <laughs> yeah, right. Based thinking to be the most effective. But hey, if you and your retrograde ex X terrible, ill-informed, ignorant, and proud of it, overreact. Just want to worship war, guns, Uncle Ronnie Reagan, and push tickle t down. T God, this is a tongue twister. Tickle on economics, re which the entire fucking Bush League family then pr promoted to to get us into a fucking recession. Bam, gasp, recovering from Ronald Sinters. Then go ahead, worship your demigods like the fucking. Troll, classic knee jerk, inbred dumb fucks you are. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that was hard to read. <laughs> so, this person is trying to go and say that liberals are always the ones giving out facts. They are the ones who are always trying to go and give out the things that are right, and the and that all the conservatives are trying to go and give out all the theories out there, all the conspiracy theories. All you have to do is look at any freaking campus out there and you would see that this person is 100% wrong. They have f no fucking idea what they're talking about. And they're trying to go and say that they're a good person while going and saying dumb fucks and everything like that. It amazes me and he even uses the word inbred because stereotyping is real. real. Yes, I'm pretty sure people in in Europe, all the people in England have bad teeth, or you know, all the people in Africa have AIDS. I'm pretty sure all of that is real too. I mean, if you believe that all conservatives are inbreds, then you have to believe in those other two. You, you believe in stereotypes, so you have to. And look, he even has a little screen name: Republicans are morons. That's a good screen name, isn't it? It's just, and he ha even has has the little g L LBGT thing on his picture. <sighs> People like this, it's just. I mean, he says lived hard, and he, he he goes and says how people going and saying lived hard is a bad thing, and then but when he goes and says inbreds and things like that, it's completely all right. <sighs> wow. It just. Regressives to me are just. Unfreaking believable. It amazes me what they say. Okay, so. Let's go and see and try. Let's see if there's anything else on here. If I can. I can find. 
Okay, so this is from Little Teapot. Sadly, it looks like men have found this video. Look at all the man babies with their hurt feelings and end of dislikes and useless whine comments. I'm surprised these idiotic men destroyed the rest of your channel yet. And all you did was state basic facts and they can't st stand the idea of, of men not being perfect angels. This is why it's important that we liberate ourselves fr from the patriarchy, aka men. My advice with this video is to disable ratings so they can, can't can download your video. Then set comments to improve so they can't cry all over your comment section. So, <clears throat> equally you shouldn't pr prohibit all men from commenting on your channel because men only know how to hurt women. Hurt each other and destroy anything that women create and in my opinion have no place in a civilized society. All of, of course it's up to you. After all, all there's no, no so-called men's right activists who exist only to harass women. Many run big YouTube channels that exist solely to drive women off the internet. Even their own aliens allies who can't have enough in internalized misogyny for their own taste. Look at the comment section of a feminist video, Men Are Cancer. Whenever you look, you let out a man to a feminist space, it goes, it goes to hell. Anyways, have a thumbs up for the counter all the dislikes. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was a long one. Okay, so, this was on a video that Baring did, and he's one of the people I'm sub subscribed to. If, if you haven't subscribed to him yet, subscribe he's a really cool per person i like him and the video he did was um of a person who really wasn't that bad she she's actually kind of smart compared to most people she she was pretty nice but she sadly gave out a lot of false facts a lot of the stuff she gave wasn't real and the person here here is trying to go and claim that they are facts even though they weren't one of the facts was that the one girl said that a woman is went raped every six seconds, which I'm pretty sure isn't real. I mean, that's a lot. Every six seconds, I don't think that one's true. I mean, it, I'm sorry, I don't believe in that one. She's also going when a uh, little teapot is also going and trying to go and say they should separate rape themselves from men. Segregation. She believes in segregation. That is already a red flag right there. If you see someone says anything like that, you already know they're a freaking moron. And she's trying to go and say that men are pretty much the cause of all the hate in the world and they hate all feminists and everything like that and all the men's right activists out there are just trying to go and get women off the internet, which isn't true because a lot of the videos I've seen from them go after men as well. So that's already kind of false. Luckily, the this one was just the person who made the video actually responded and they actually said something that was pretty smart. They, and here it is. I actually disagree. I know some incredible men who are also feminists and believe in the feminist movement. What you're descri describing is called misandry, which is hating men. Fighting hatred and with hatred only leads to more a animal tristy, and th that, that's not what true feminism is promoting. There's a, <clears throat> a lot of great guys out there with doing a lot of great things, and while there are just as many causes causing harm to women and to the community, it's our job to band together and to keep on fighting the good fight to no matter what average which is we fight face. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice, but I don't completely agree with her here, but it is, I do really I like that she went and stood up to this person. So I had to go and give her a thumbs up for that. I, I like that she did that. So Good job for you, Sarah. I like that you did that. You get a thumbs up for me for that. And I also made my own little comment. You know it's bad when the creator of the video disagrees with you. 
This alien comment is wrong. It's getting rid of free speech. I've gotten bad comments on my videos, but I leave the comments up because the views to have a chance right to disagree with me and hate me. Little type up there. What do, do you mean from liberating yourselves? Segregation? Didn't we try to get rid of, the, of that, at least racial? The feminist hate videos aren't driving women off. Quitting is their own choice. They can, can choose to be brave and still make videos that on what they believe, but they choose not to. <clears throat> I don't know how, why you hate, hate for men, but it's clearly blinding you from the truth. Most men believe in equality. They just don't don't like modern fem feminism stands for. Look up some of the videos and news. They can be just as violent, mean, as stupid. Some think holding doors is sexist. Some wanted to remove a statue where a man was leaning over a woman. Some have lied about rape and destroyed other people's lives, even when their name is cleared. It's interesting that you didn't reply when Sarah showed you for who you really are, a sexist. I can only hope you can see where where you're wrong and can change that for the better. And I I kind of wish she did that, but I don't think she ever did. She just went and sucked her own thing and anything else. But she did rep actually reply, so let's go and look at that. Thanks for proving my point, men. The girl in the video even tried to pander to your useless pieces of garbage by pretending that misandry is a real thing. There's no such thing as misandry. I hope you learned after this that catering to your feelings is pointless. You cause every problem in the world and whine about because women don't like it. Boo hoo. I hate men and I'm proud to say it. Kill all men. Mental cancer. Oh, I have a joke. What did the straight white male say before killing himself? Who cares? One less rapist in the world. And then we have a little comment who says, Holy shit, the level of protection and hypocrisy in your ramblings is a trauma. No. Go suck a dick, you might feel better. So, there are some people out there who are going and say that this person's actually a troll. I'm not really sure if they are, but if they are, they went and got me. But, pff, amazes me. Okay, let's look at one more because this video is already long enough. Rant. Why in the world are men born with nipples? This is an issue I have with discussing with my girlfriends for quite a while now. It is sexist because you men don't have even the slightest idea about what it's like to nurse a child and you will never be able to, capable of, well, of nursing a child. The shit a woman has to go through her body constantly changing and being mocked and sexualized by men? Nipples should be removed from a man at birth. The fact that, that they are not is sexist. sexist. Not getting tongue tied. Nipples should be removed from men at birth. The fact that they are not is sexist. Doctors, nurses not giving a shit about these these men walking around free with no shit on and when a woman is expected to cover up. Why humiliate women more than you had already had to every day? Men are the problem in this world. This is why we need feminism. This is why we need equality. Keep on fighting, fighting the good fight, my fellow feminists. And to all men out there, check your damn privilege, all. Yes, finally, a one with privilege in it. I thought I was going to go the whole video without it, but there's all now there's one. I was so close to. Okay, so I'm not a biologist, but I'm pretty sure that nipples are developed before the sex is determined or or around there. It's either before the sex is determined or when the fetus is still female. Like, because at one point, the, the fetuses are all female until, until the Y chromosome comes in and they turn to a male. So... You're blaming biology for this? Men have nipples because that's the way they're born. Both men and women have them when they're in the womb. Maybe if you knew your damn biology, you would actually know that. You should have paid attention in class. But you probably didn't do that because you thought you knew the stuff so well that you decided not to. 
And she's also saying that they should be removed at birth. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to do something like that? It's removing something from someone because they don't use them? I mean, yeah, nipples on men are technically useless, but you think they should be removed? I mean, they're not doing anything to hurt you. The, the reason women had to cover up is because, or at least one of the reasons is because that if they don't, their breasts will flop around. Putting, getting covered up makes it feel a lot more comfortable. Then they're not flopping around. You know, when a guy, a, a guy wears trunks, so then his dick doesn't have to go and flop around. That's, that gets really annoying. The having shorter pants on goes and prevents that a little. But when you have nothing on and you have your dick flopping around, it gets really annoying. And it's probably the same for women. But apparently, you don't see it that way. And even even if they didn't cover up, more men would probably be looking at them and sexually harassing them even more. So it's probably a good thing they, that they need to cover up because it kind of prevents that from happening. But hey, that goes against your philosophy, so... What say do I have? I mean, I have my male privilege, as as you're saying. I mean, I mean, it's not like that men get less custody rights. It's not like that they get longer jail sentences or other things like that. It's not like that school is actually made for girls, and that's why boys are more likely to fail. Male privilege. It's real. That's enough bullcrap for me. It's just... My brain's about to blow up and just my voice is about to give out from all the talking I've had. I This video's going almost 40 minutes long, so it's amazing what so so justice warriors and feminists think. It's amazing that they believe the freaking crazy lies that they've been told to. And I believe in equality. I believe women should be CEOs. I believe that they should be principals. I believe that they should be in huge powers like being able to be president. But I don't think Hillary is the right person for the job because she's a moron. She would make a horrible female president. And she would be the first, just a horrible example for, for the first female one. If we made her the first female president, I think we'd be less likely to have another one in the, in the near future. So... That's all I really have to say for this. I'm going on long enough. My voice is about to give out, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. It's, it really made me go insane, and... Guys, if you have any male privilege out there, you better check it, or you're a terrible person.